Hello, my art at home friends. Um, today, I'm gonna teach you how to make your very own texture plate. I know Miss Mary has talked to you guys about texture, so I thought it would be fun to show you how to make your own texture plates so you can do some fun things with them. You're gonna need a lot of help from mom or dad, so, or grandma or grandpa, so grab some help. You'll need some bubble wrap, a rolling pin, any kid size plastic rolling pin. You will need some rubber bands. You will also need a pair of scissors to cut the bubble wrap and you will need cardboard pieces. So you'll use your scissors to cut your cardboard pieces. You will need some color sticks. If you don't have color sticks, you can use crayons. You're just gonna want to peel the wrapper off of the crayon and we will work on that. I'll show you all about that in a little bit. So regular crowns are fine. You will need a hot glue gun. This is where, um, especially my kindergarten, first, second graders, um, this is where mom and dad come in handy. Um, they can help you with the hot glue gun so you don't burn yourself. And then you will need white paper of any kind. So I have a couple pieces a bigger and then I cut some smaller squares. Once you have all your materials, we are ready to get started. So we will start with the cardboard squares and our glue gun first. This is gonna make your texture plate. With your glue gun, tell mom and dad what kind of design you want on your cardboard square. It can be as simple as a line design, like zigzags or swirls, or we're gonna make some waves. let that dry. I've also done some zigzags, some swirls, and I did a cute little heart too. So you can do objects and shapes. Um, let's do a little flower. There's our flower. All right, we're gonna let that dry. And let's see, one more. Let's do just some wavy lines. And then we're gonna put some dots. Or you can even add a circle. So there's our last design. You can make as many of these cardboard texture plates as you want. It's completely up to you. So let me show you how cool these are. So we've got our paper and we're just going to take our paper and lay it over. we got to make sure that our glue is really dry and you're just going to take your color stick and rub. I 
and you have made a really cool texture picture. Let me show you how we do the crayons. So pick a crayon, any color, and we're just gonna peel it. Done. These work the same way that a color stick does. So let's try out our wavy lines. So you're just going to lay your crown flat and rub over. So these are really fun to do. You can make all kinds of different designs on them. Let's try our flower. The flower is kind of fun because you can do a couple of different colors. So you want to just do the flower in one color. And then finish the stem and the leaves in another color. And there you go. So, to make your own texture plates, you need cardboard and a hot glue gun and help from mom and dad. Remember, if you don't have those color sticks, peel your crowns, lay them flat on your paper. All right, let's make a different kind of texture plate. This one you're going to be able to use with paint. So what I've done is I have a couple of different colors and I've just kind of laid it out on a flat tray. So a flat paper plate, um, anything flat would be good. And this is where you're going to take your rolling pin and you're just going to take your rubber bands and wrap them around your rolling pin. Overlapping, crisscrossing, as many or as little as you want. The more rubber bands you put on your rolling pin, oh, looks like I have kitty helper today. Get down, you can't have those. He's trying to steal my rubber bands. So the more rubber bands that you put on here, the cooler it's gonna look. But you do want to keep them spread apart. Otherwise, it's just gonna look like a big glob. So make sure you keep them spread apart. My kitty is relentless today. I know, you just want the rubber bands. Come on, okay. So you're going to take your plate and I'm just going to take a paintbrush and I'm just going to kind of spread this paint out to where it's flat and thin. You really just need a thin layer. I probably got too much paint on here. I'm just going to kind of push it all to one side. All right. Over there. You're going to take your rolling pin with the rubber bands on it. And you're just going to rub it and roll it, making sure that all those rubber bands are covered in paint to the best that you can get them. Okay? Then, this makes really cool grass. You're just going to take it and roll it on your paper. And you can roll it this way and diagonal. So there is another really cool way to make texture on your paper. I've got one more thing to show you with 
the bubble wrap, and your rolling pin. So I would suggest that you take your rubber bands off, wipe your rolling pin down, but we are just gonna overlap, roll our bubble wrap right over the top of our rubber bands. And I'm gonna just take just a little piece of tape And I'm gonna kind of roll that tape up and stick it in between the two layers. I'm gonna do that in a couple different places. If you just lay the tape over the top of the bubble wrap, it'll kind of mess up your texture. So if we stick the tape in between the layers, instead of just taping it like this, it's going to be better. So, just like this, and you're going to do the same type of thing. You've got your paper. I've got another color of paint. I'm just going to make a thin layer of paint on my tray. You don't need a lot. I obviously have way too much paint. I get a little paint happy. I do like my paint. And then you're just gonna gently roll your bubble wrap in the paint. And then just roll it on your paper. And it makes this really cool texture on your paper. And you can overlap different colors. Your bubble wrap is plastic, so it rinses really well. Just pat it dry with a paper towel and add another color. So I hope you had fun learning how to make your own texture plates again. It's a lot of things that you can use. Remember if you're using the hot glue gun to ask mom or dad to help you. They can help you cut your cardboard squares. They can help you put your designs on them with the hot glue gun. And then they make really cool texture designs. Bye guys, until next week, have a great day.